Hey guys, welcome to your um, general reading for Gemini. Uh, this is going to be for your October 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, um, what messages do we have for you guys from your guides and your angels and your ancestors? We're going to take a look and see what that is. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know look out for work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at the other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about um, Gemini. Messages for Gemini from their guides, angels, ancestors. What messages do we have for, for Gemini from their guides, angels, and their ancestors for October 2023 for Gemini? For Gemini. What messages do we have here for Gemini from their guides, their angels, and their ancestors? Mm, ten of cups and a ten of wands. I mean, two tons here. Could be a cycle that's closing out here. I mean, maybe there's a cycle closing out on a relationship. Maybe, uh, you know, you're releasing all the burden that you've been carrying around for your, uh, uh, for your family here. That's being released here, okay? Seems like you could be holding on to not only your burdens, but other people's burdens here too. Yeah, whatever this is, this, is ne this needs to be released because whatever burdens that you've been holding on to, Gemini, you know, your guides and your angels and your ancestors are as asking you or letting you know that this is not for you to bear. It's not yours. So I feel like as soon as you release this, you're going to feel a sense of a lightness, happiness, bliss here, okay? Uh, Leo energy with the sun, king of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the high priestess, cancer, Pisces, and the six of swords here. Yeah, whatever this burden that you've been holding on to regarding yourself and your family here, I do get the sense that there's a sense of moving forward now. Because I feel like some of you guys might have feel like you've been stuck for a long time. Now, the stuckness might have led you to stay in one place for too long and you wanted to leave, to move to a different place, and they feel like you're finally doing that. You know, with the high priestess, you just know that it's the right thing to do. You're trusting your higher self. You're trusting your intuition. You're trusting your inner voice at this time here, okay? Ten of Cups. We have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, Ten of Wands. In the three of wands here yeah there's a sense of moving towards the future okay i do feel like with the hermit here i feel like you guys have done a lot of introspecting and self-reflecting and work uh perhaps um energy work not just only on yourself but on your family here too yeah you know i feel like there are burdens that you're carrying around with you that has to do with some past life imprints that still needs to be removed or let go of uh that you're still holding on to it could be ancestors here too that is also you know that's also kind of like uh, uh burdens from your ancestors that are hold you're holding on to here too uh gemini the sun the five of cups the uh king of swords and the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo mm. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like, I feel like a lot of you guys have been dealing with a lot of grief here. Yeah, a lot of grief. Um, you know, this is, this, this could be grief from yourself, from your family, from your ancestors here. And they feel like all this grief is being moved, you know, or that it will be moved. And once it's moved, I feel like you're going to feel a lot lighter. I feel like you're going to feel a lot better because I feel like the energy has been a little bit heavy here for you, Gemini. You know, and I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are asking you to allow this energy to move. Yeah, don't stop yourself from crying. Don't block yourself from crying. Allow that energy to move. Uh, because if you stop yourself from crying... You know, you stop yourself from having that experience and having those direct experience is where the medicine is. It's where the healing is. It's where the evolution and the growth is. So just allow you, just embrace it. Embrace it. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for, work on for October 2023 for Gemini, for Gemini.
All right, Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Six of Wands, and then we have the Six of Cups and the Death card here. Yeah, some of you guys could be leaving the past behind. Uh, some, some of you guys could also be dealing with some past life stuff. Yeah, past life imprints are coming to the surface here. Uh, maybe that that's why you you feel this like overwhelming amount of grief because I feel like you're feeling that grief from the spirit realm, from your ancestors, from maybe family members that have passed away. Okay, so we have the emperor and the six of wands. Hmm. Page of swords and the three of pentacles. Someone from the other side is definitely stepping forward. Could be a grandmother, could be a grandparent. You know, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that lived a very long, healthy life here. Um, and I feel like this person might be coming through to guide you here. You know, I do feel like whatever imprints that you have from a past life, I do feel like it was, you know, it could have it could have been persecution and stuff like that, you know, and I feel like a lot of that imprint still is like that, those, uh, those imprints are like embedded into your DNA and that needs to be moved energetically. Yeah. yeah and, you know, someone here needs to work with a shaman. If you're shamanic yourself, you know, you could remove it yourself. Uh, but someone here definitely needs um, a bit of assistance here. Uh, we have the two of wands and the queen of swords. We have the kings of queen of swords here. Mm, I mean, there could be someone also that's coming, co coming forward where this person really passed suddenly. And I feel like this is a person that really hasn't really truly accepted their death here. And I feel like they're caught in between realms. Yeah. I mean, this could be a romantic partner. Um, some of you guys could have, could have been whittled here. Yeah, some of you guys could have been whittled here. Now, could it be whittled in this lifetime? Yeah, sure. I, I feel like it could also be a whittled, like, uh, whittled in the past life here, too. So there's a lot of, there's a lot coming up here for you, uh, um, Gemini. And I feel like, um... This eclipse season has been very pivotal for you because there's a lot of shifts that's happening here for you, uh, Gemini. Just a lot of shifts, transformation happening. Yeah. Three of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles. Four times here. Cycles are closing out. Yeah. I feel like any karmic deaths that you've still been sort of like holding on to or that that's, that's still in your body or still in your physio physiology, I feel like all that's being cleared out. Yeah, I feel like all that's being cleared out. But whatever this, there's a lot coming up. I feel like a lot of your ancestors are needing your help at this time. Yeah, it has something to do with persecution and stuff like that. Yeah, so, you know, whatever this is, I feel like, you know, I feel like maybe something triggered this, but but I feel like more so maybe it's like the eclipse that's actually causing, um, uh, uh, is a big part of this, like, pivotal uh, uh, transformative time that you're going through here, Gemini, okay? So, um... Yeah, there's healing here. There's change. Uh, karma is being cleared out. Yeah, karma is being cleared out for you. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this was uh, this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.